Hi there, uh, my name is Natasha Lukart and uh, I want to tell you about a documentary project that I'm starting that's uh, really important to me and really important uh, to the lives of a lot of people. Um, it's telling the story about widowers of asbestos, uh, so a woman whose husbands worked at the General Electric plant in Peterborough for 10, 15, 20 years and uh, Sandy LeBeau is, is one of those widows and uh, when I sat down with her a couple of years ago, she said that uh, my girls were 15 and 17 when they lost their dad. And they sat at the table for supper when he said the chemicals will kill him. Ron worked at the General Electric plant in Peterborough for 20 years. And uh, during that time, he saw as a lot of his colleagues passed away from cancer and other acute illnesses, many of whom were under 50. And uh, when Ron was 39, he was diagnosed with stomach cancer. And three months after that, he, he passed away. And it wasn't too long before that that he had this conversation with his uh, daughters and uh, with his wife. And uh, it's now been 19 years, and Sandy filed for compensation 19 years ago, and she still hasn't received a single cent from the compensation system. So I want to tell these women's stories. Uh, they're the ones who were there throughout it all. They're the ones who were there when their husbands would come home and uh, telling stories about the plant, like when uh, the sun would shine through the plant, they would see particles of asbestos, dust just flying throughout the air and uh, almost looking like snowflakes, and how um, there were certain men who were asked to pluck the goose which was picking asbestos out of the vents and putting it into plastic bags. And not knowing how lethal it was at the time, they would have snowball fights with it uh, during their, their lunch break. And uh, how, you know, they would have to brush off asbestos from their sandwiches uh, at lunchtime because it was just everywhere within the plant. And how when they would come home, their their skin would smell like like chemicals and how one woman said even after her husband showered, there was still a varnish all over his body of chemicals and, uh, and how their boots were tainted with blue from the beryllium and the benzene and, uh, and white from the asbestos. And the community, they could tell you about the community, about how the houses around, around the plant uh, were a different color than the other houses in the community and how General Electric was this huge job creator in, uh, in what was once known as the Electric City, and the strange dynamics of uh, working for a company that, that supported the community and supported their families for so many years, and yet made the community sick, and, uh, and made the people sick. And, um, you know, they're incredible women. It's, uh, it's not going to be a documentary that's... that's all grief. They haven't been overcome with grief. They're sad about what happened and uh, and they're angry at times but you know they they laugh, they joke and uh, some of them have families now but they still talk about their husband every day. Sandy said she talks about her husband every day and I want to make sure that more people are talking about their husbands and uh, more people are talking about asbestos and more people are talking about the lives that are lost from occupational cancer um, so that's why I'm doing this documentary, and uh, I'm, I want to make sure their stories are heard, which is why from April 1st to April 28th, I'm raising money for the documentary. I'm trying to raise $10,000 within that, that time frame, and it's ending on April 28th because that's the day of mourning for people who have lost their lives um, due to illness and accidents, um, who have lost their, their lives because of the work that they do every day. And um, it comes at a time when the Canadian Labour Congress announced that asbestos is the theme for, for this year's Day of Mourning, and there's also a ban asbestos campaign that's going on right now up until April 28th asking for a comprehensive ban of asbestos, because it's, it's known as this issue that was an that was a problem 20 years ago, but uh, people aren't hearing about the impact that it 
it still has on communities like Peterborough, on uh, the widows, uh, like the widows in of, of General Electric. And uh, I want to make sure those those stories are heard and um, and any money that you could contribute to making sure those those stories are heard would be much appreciated. Um, it would mean so much to this community and uh, it would mean so much to me and uh, thank you so much for, for anything that you contribute. I truly appreciate it.